What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing one of the best teams for Series 13. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, seriously, take two seconds out of your day to scroll down a little bit and click that big red subscribe button. It really goes a long way. Just want to give a huge shout out to each and every one of my subscribers. But like I said, today we are using one of the best Series 13 teams. And the thing about Series 13 is like mythical Pokemon are allowed, but the legendary Pokemon are so much more overpowering. So stacking a team with Zacian, Calyrex, and Kyogre, I feel like is a lot stronger than like throwing mythical. But with that out the way, let's get started with today's team preview. Starting off in that top left corner, we have Kyogre with Drizzle and Life Orb as its item and ability. And it's rocking the Water Spout, Thunder, Ice Beam, and Protect for a fairly normal moveset that works so well. Whimscott is going to be our second Pokemon with Prankster and the Koba Berry. Tailwind, Charm to drop physical attack, Energy Ball for its stab hitting move, and then it's got Light Screen to help us beef up some special attacking shots. Middle left is going to be Shadow Rider Calyx, and this might be my favorite Shadow Rider Calyx build. Build. It has the as one ability alongside with the focus dash. Like you obviously that is like the best thing you can have, but this is an imprisoned trick room Calyx, and I use it a couple times on the rank ladder, and it works so well, and it makes countering trick room ten times easier. Other two moves for this guy is going to be expanded force and Astro Barrage, both for stab. Fourth Pokemon on today's team is going to be Zacian over here, and everything's fairly normal with Zacian, so we're not even going to go over it. It's the strongest Pokemon in the game, and everything's normal with that. So if you guys want to check it out, it's right in front of your eyes. Bottom left hand corner is going to be our support in DD. It's got the Psychic Surge and the Psychic Seeds, and then it's got Expanding Force, Follow Me, Helping Hand, and Protect. Final Pokemon on today's team is going to be Regilecki over here, Transistor alongside with the Assault Vest, and it's got Wild Charge, Bounce, E Web for Speed Control, and Assurance for Dark Coverage Move. Guys, if you want to rent this team for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen. But let's get after it. Let's hop onto the rank double ladder, trying to showcase the best Series 13 team. I know you guys are sitting there wondering like, yo, Jeans, why are you using these legendary Pokemon that we see all the time on the rank ladder? It's because I want to bring you guys a team to push high ranks with. I don't want to bring you guys some crappy team right now that's not going to push you to high tier. I want to bring you guys a nice rental code that you guys can actually use and push to high rank. So hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video and hopefully you guys rent this team if you want to get into that master tier. But we're hopping into our first battle for today's video, going up against a Soul Galio and Shadow Rider Kyler team with Regilecki, Incineroar, Yveltal, and how should I go into this one? How should I play this? I think Wimscott could be a solid lead. Does he have any fake out users? Yes, Incineroar. I mean, Incineroar could definitely come in for a lead. I mean, we could go Kyogre. Kyogre and Wimscott's not too bad. I mean, I can Dynamax Kyogre. It would be lovely. I'm going to go Kyogre Wimscott. I just feel like we get a lot of value out of that. So I am going to roll out strong with that. So if he does go into uh, Incineroar, I might just Dynamax Kyogre. Try to get it for the battle that way. And then we got to bring Zacian. And then last but not least, probably Shadow Rider Calyrex. Yeah, it's just so strong. It's just such a strong Pokemon, so I'm going to bring him in. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number one. But I woke up this morning, and I checked my channel analytics, and my views were multiplied by, like, 10. Normally, my videos get, like, about 2,000 views in a couple of hours. This one got 22,000 views. So if you are new here, you are a new viewer, and you just checked out my videos, make sure you subscribe and stay up to date with all my content. We upload every single day over here. And we're going to be bringing you guys some Pokemon Scarlet and Violet content. Actually, a ton of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet content. Alongside with Splatoon 3, which comes out two days. If you guys are interested in that, make sure you hit that follow button. Also, we stream a bunch over on Twitch. So if you want to catch me live, link down in the description below. Jeans25 on Twitch. Hit that follow button over there. But he's going to end up leading the Solgaleo alongside with the Yveltal. And I mean, Yveltal can pop out a Tailwind. Which, mm, do we allow it to? I mean, I think we... Do we change up weather? That's my, that's my real problem. We change up weather. I'm kind of curious what would do more damage: a stab max geyser or a hailstorm or thunder. Thunder would do two 280 because times two. Max geyser would get that stab boost, so it would go up 75 plus a rain boost. I think that the geyser would do a little bit more. We're about the same, so I'm gonna stick with the weather. I'm gonna keep it that way, and I am just going to set up a tailwind just so speed kind of stays on our side. And maybe, just maybe, if he doesn't uh, dynamax at Yamato, we can kind of just get rid of it. I'm not going to proc the policy. I wish that Solgaleo did not have full metal body because I would just charm it up. But if I can get rid of this Tailwind Pokemon, this can be really solid. So we're just going to Dynamax the Kyogre. We are going to get straight after this Shibelta. And we're going to try to get after this battle. But this battle might be close. This is high mass tier. I think our opponent's like 920 in the world. So hopefully, you know, we can beat him up. He's going to end up going for a wide guard. That's a good waste of a turn. So we love that turn. 
We love that turn. So I think he is setting up a Tailwind. I'll take that turn all day. So he wastes a turn with Wide Guard. We end up Dynamaxing instead of going for a Water Spout. I love it all day. So Geyser should come out here. And I think Geyser should be able to pick up the KO. I mean, we're Life Orb boosted too, right? So the KO, it does. You belt all, get on out of here. So that's a solid turn for, from us. I've been seeing a lot of Tailwind Yveltas coming out on the field. So I think that thing was setting up Tailwind. Or it was just trying to drop my uh, Whimscott with an Oblivion Ring. But there it is, yo. We got some speed. He might Dynamax Solgaleo, which I really think he is going to do. And at this point, he could Dynamax Regilecki. I mean, Regilecki's going to outspeed. I could set up the Light Queen here as well. I think I have to get after Regilecki. I think it's just a pain. Like, I'm going to set up the Light Queen. I kind of want to charm the Regilecki because a lot of them have been physical attacking. But I think he Dynamaxes the Solgaleo over the Regilecki. I really do. But still, we have speed. Light Queen should get out here if he does Dynamax Regilecki. We'll see what he wants to do here. It is going to be the Reggie. I kind of, I don't mind that. It's not too bad considering we should be able to soak up this uh, lightning shot with this, uh, with this light screen out. The light screen's going to work pretty solid here. going to work pretty solid. And we got rid of the belt all so my Kalor can come in here and get some work. The light screen's out and about. And we outspeed. Woo! Kyogre's outspeed. And sometimes Kyogre doesn't outspeed a Reggie like even in the tail So Kyogre's going to fly through it here. And yo, that's GG's. Like I said, this is a high master tier battle. This is a high master battle. Our opponent is 920 in the world, and we are just steamrolling through him. We are just steamrolling through him. I'm not worried about that Solgaleo anymore. There's no Dynamax. We have Calyrex in the back end. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. So Sunseal Strike will take out the... Uh, it will take out the Whimscott, but that's all good. Now we just throw out Calyrex and kind of just go from there, right? He has no Dynamax. We're thriving. We are thriving out here. I mean, he could have Zacian, but I mean, dude, we're fine. We're fine. We are chilling here. That's GG's. That's going to be GG's. He sent out Calyrex too? He does indeed. He does indeed. Um, How many turns is left in? We still have our Focus Ash, which is good. We do still have our Focus Ash. And I feel like we just attack that Calyrex because Calyrex might have a Focus Ash. So even if he protects his turn, we can take off the Focus Ash and be fine. And then if not, the Solgaleo is going to have to take a hard hit from us. And plus we have Light Screen out and about. Light Screen's beautiful. But how many turns left in Tailwind? We have two. That, that's just awesome. That's just awesome. That should be GG. So I'm just going to keep Geyser in, and I'm just going to drop an Astral Brash here. Super effective on both slots. But again, I think our opponent cancels, which he does. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. 1-0 and o to get this team started. We're rolling into battle number two, and that first battle was absolutely perfect. Dominated with the Kyogre, showed off how strong this team actually is, and pretty much almost swept it. We only lost the Whimscott to a Sunseal Strike, but Kyogre was dominating. And at Dynamax, we made a great call by going into the Dynamax with him, dodging the Wide Guard, and just taking speed control with that Whimscott. But like I said, second battle is coming at you guys, and we're going up against a Magirna team with Kyogre, Groudon, Whimscott, and then he has Incineroar and Lunala. Incineroar and Luna. I feel like Calyrex is just such a good lead. Just in case he wants to pop a Trick Room, we'll roll into Calyrex. And then on top of that, we could go in with Indeedy too. Indeedy Calyrex is actually really solid. I can help in hand shots. I can imprison Trick Room if I want to. I can follow me a lot of shots. I just feel like we get a lot of value out of it. So I feel like Indeedy Calyrex is probably our best bet for a lead. We dodge a Fake Out too. And Intimidate won't really affect these guys because they're special attacking. Yeah, I'm digging it. I'm digging a lot, so I'm going to go in with them, too. I am going to bring Zacian in the back end. And then, do we want Kyogre, or do we want Regilecki? The thing is, if we go Kyogre, uh, he can change up weather with Groudon kind of a while from there. But if we go Regilecki, if he has Groudon ready to roll, it's going to be a problem. But Kyogre's a life for Pokemon. I love it, so we're going to rock out with this OP squad. Like I said, today's video is all about bringing you guys a team that you guys can push rank ladder with. And this team is fairly easy to use too. It has Pokemon that you guys have been using for a while. The Shadow Rider, Calyrex, the Kyogre, the Zacian, the Regilecki. Like, it's just a simple team that is super effective. So, again, hopefully you guys are enjoying today's video. If you're new here, click that big red subscribe button. Join the community. We're closing on 15,000 subscribers, and I cannot thank you guys enough. But he's going to end up going with these two. And, okay. Uh, do I follow me the shot, or do I help him hand it? I mean, he could go into Blades. I think we have to follow me just so we can get some more turns with our Calyrex. Because if he Dynamaxes, we can have it go into NDD. But if he doesn't, then the Whimscott shot's going to go into NDD. But what do I do? What does Jeans do? I could change up Weather. We do have Psychic Seeds coming out here. It's only for a special defense boost. Um, okay. Uh, ch 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 would Expanding Force do more damage? Or would Astro Barrage? I think this is doubled, right? I think this is doubled, right? 
in this terrain. So I think this will do a bit more damage. So, you know, I'm trying to pop this, uh, this and helping hand it, or do I just follow me the shot? I feel like we just helping hand this shot. I really do. And the reason I say that is he might just go into blades and not even dynamax. He withdraws ground. I'm cool with that. He withdraws ground. He's going to go into Incineroar. Okay, he goes into Incineroar. That's fine. That is totally fine. He's going to Intimidate. And that's not too big of a deal. Not too worried about that. Is he setting up a Tailwind? I'm curious. He's not? Or does Helping Hand come out before? I think Helping Hand might come out before Tailwind. They go for the Helping Hand. He does not Tailwind. Expanding Force is not going to affect him. And we're going to pop this. I could have doubled down into Expanding Forces. We're going to trigger Focus Ash. That's cool with me. And what's he going to go into here? A Tricker. Ain't too bad. Ain't too bad. I mean, I can trick him back this turn. Which I think I might do. And just follow me. That'd be my best bet, right? Probably my best bet. Trick Room, the Trick Room. Bring it back and then go from there. So he withdraws Whimscott. I'm cool with that. He's going to go into Magirna. Thinking that everything's going to be peachy clean. That he's coming in here. He, th he thinks that he's coming into a trick room. And I'm saying, nah, like, it's not happening. It's not happening, sweetheart. It's not happening. It's not happening. So he's going to Dark Slayer into Ndidi. Ndidi's going to soak around the well. And then we're going to say, hey, yo, that trick room that you had, it's no longer happening. That's why I love this Calyrex build. I absolutely love this Calyrex build. So we do that. We can pop an Astral Barrage now if we wanted to. And we could also go into an Expanding Force. Or I can just help him hand the shot, which I might do. I think it's my best play, right? He could protect the Magirna here. Let's see how this one plays out here. So Helping Hand's going to come out here. We're going to Astral Barrage. How much damage can this do to Magirna? I could have imprisoned Trick Room, which I maybe should have done. Maybe should have done. But we do this. It's going to do some crazy damage, and we just get rid of Magirna. So that's a huge turn for us. We get a crit, too. I wonder if it was KOing it regardless. I really do. I really do wonder. So we're going to be Grimnade boosted. I think maybe he goes into... Uh, a Dark Slayer here into my Calyrex. Yeah. And then he's going to trigger Focus Ash. But the problem here is he might have to take speed from me. I could pop a Trick Room now. I could definitely pop a Trick Room now. He's going to go into Whimscott and probably Tailwind. But then at that point, I just follow me and kind of roll after the battle that way. And I'm trying to force the ground on so I can Brown Kai Ogre later and just Dynamax him in the battle. But we'll see what he wants to do. Whimscott comes back out here. So he can either Tailwind. He can either Tailwind or Trick Room. And I think we just go into here. And we just follow me a shot. But the thing is, if he tailwinds, he, uh, what's it called? If he tailwinds, then Incineroar's gonna have to come after Indeedee. But if he goes into a trick room, he's not gonna be able to get it off, because you know I'm just gonna KO him. But I'm surprised he went into a trick room instead of a tailwind, right? Wouldn't you think that tailwind would've just been to play it? But, no, it makes sense. He, he wanted to get Magirna out there. That was his play all day. He wanted to get Magirna out there, and he wanted to start thriving out that battle. So it was a smart play by him to pop the Trick Room, but still, we countered it hard, and this is why I love having Calyrex with Imprison Trick Room. It just works so well. So follow me. He's going to come out here, and I think he goes for a Tailwind, right? Is this Tailwind time? It is Tailwind time. So he Tailwinds up. I'm cool with that. He sells a Dynamax for his Groudon. I have a Dynamax for my Kyogre, and we're going to Astro Barrage out here and pick up a KO onto the Whimscott. Grimnade's boosted. Do some more damage over onto the Sinor. Probably trigger Barry, right? And it is good to know that my Calyrex outspeeds that in cinema. That's really good to know. So he goes for Dark Slayer. He's going to take out him. Um, do I just go into Zassian here? Do I just go into Zassian or do I go into Kyogre? Actually, no. We have to go into Kyogre. We go into Kyogre 100%. He has Groudon. He's faster in the Tailwind. Drought's going to set. We're going to counter with Rain. We're just going to Dynamax and get after his battle pretty solid battle pretty solid battle so yeah we dynamax 1000 percent and the real question is do i go after the crowd on here or do i take up the incinor you have options you have options here i think i just go after the ground on right let me just go after the ground on yeah astral barrage can come out here i could trick room i could go for it but i should have popped the trick room that would have been great but this actually works better for us because we get the weather now i can straight up just guys are right into uh ground on where do I take out Incineroar? That's the real question. Play there. I'm gonna go after Groudon. Because Astro Barrage might even be able to take out the Grout or the uh the Incineroar. We're plus two now. We are plus two. So there's Dynamax from the Groudon. We saw that coming from 65,000 miles away. But the turn order should go 
Hits you. Oh, yes. Dynamax is in Cinewar. Ow. He's gotta be protecting Groudon. So Dynamax is in Cinewar. But the turn order should be Groudon, Calyrex, Kyogre, and Cinewar, right? Or no? It should go Groudon. That's what I'm thinking. Actually, my Calyrex might be able to outspeed Groudon, too. But it should be Groudon, Calyrex, Incineroar, Kyogre, I think. And wow, we should have went after Incineroar. We're going to hope that this Kyogre or this Groudon isn't protecting. So I can just get rid of it right here, right now. I can just get rid of it. So he doesn't protect. And oh my god, yo, Calyrex outspeeds. That's huge. Calyrex is doing work. Blade's going to fly through here. That's fine. I think he might change up weather. But if he doesn't, it's Groudon's dead. I really like what we're saying. So let's see how this one plays. He's going to trigger his berry. What is that, an Aguav? Or that might even be a Citrus. I totally forget about the nerd. It was an Ipapa. Well, Ipapa Berry. And Max Dark is going to fly here, which I'm totally cool with. Because you should be able to soak that. Beautiful. We take out Groudon, and now it's a 2v1, and that's pretty much GG's, right? That's pretty much GG's. Yeah, because we can eat up whatever. Okay, GG's. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. What a second battle, yo. The battles are awesome today. First battle was complete domination from us. Second battle, we had, the, we had the work for our money here. We had the work for our money. We made a great uh, call with the Trick Room counter and activating it. And then we got a lucky crit on the Magino, but I think that the Helping Hand Astrobage was taking him out regardless. So now we roll in the Zacian. We have two Pokemon that are faster than that Incineroar. Actually, is he faster than Incineroar? I mean, how many turns left in tail? And if it's one, I will definitely protect the, uh, the Zacian. Just to solidify his victory. But if it's two, I'll attack. Yeah, it's two, so I guess I will attack. And we'll do more. Sacred Sword. What is this? 90 times 2. This will be stab. This will be a, bit, a little bit better. I'm going to go into here. Actually, I think Behemoth Blade would have been a bit better. I think Behemoth Blade is better because it's times 2. <laughs> I'm going with Behemoth Blade and then it's half. And, but it's stab. Yeah, Behemoth Blade is going to do more and then we'll just drop a geyser. But I think our opponent just cancels battle, right? You can't even take out my Kyogre. Yep, battle was canceled. There it is 2-0. We are completely dominating with this team today. Third and final battle coming at you guys, and we're going up against a very similar team. He's rocking four of the same Pokemon that we have. We both have the Wimscott, the Calyrex, the Zacian, and the Kyogre. He has your Belt and Victini as his other two, and you guys already know I'm rocking my Jalecki and Wimscott. But uh, yeah, we don't have to go in the Wimscott. Speed Control has to be our friend, so I'm going to go Wimscott, and I might even go Red Jalecki for a lead. Red Jalecki's not too bad here. has a lot of different moves that are super effective up against a lot. We just got to kind of hope that he's not leading the... Zacian and we should be fine. So I'm gonna go Wimscott. I'm gonna go Regilecki. And at that point, a Lightning might even be able to take him out. I don't even know. But then Zacian in the back end. And then last but not least, do we go Kyogre? Or do we go Calyrex? Calyrex or Kyogre? Options, options, options. Bump, 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 but um, bump, bump. Zacian is going to be great. We already have many. But Kyogre or Cali Lally. I feel like Kyogre would get a bit more value. But the Focus Ash is so nice. But I'm going to go Kyogre, just because he's been ripping it in today's video. He honestly has. He's been ripping it. He has been a beast, an absolute beast for Dynamax in the past two videos. Calyrex would have been nice, but again, I'm always scared of the Yveltal up against the Calyrex. It's always a problem, because if he has it in and he plays it at the right time, he's just going to sucker punch me. He's going to take me out of the problem. It's, going, it's just going to be a waste of a, of a Pokemon slot. So, let's see who he ends up throwing out here. It is going to be Zacian and Wimscott. Okay, this is definitely really scary. Um... I wish I could guard, but I can't guard. I mean, I can charm turn one and hard swap. Mm. Mm. What do we do? What do we do? Because if a behemoth blade comes through, we, we die. We die. I could charm. So I'm really, I wish I had protect on this one, Scott, at this point. I could bounce. Tailwind bounce, dip out, hit the Wimscott, then charm. Maybe save Dynamax. That actually sounds... That actually sounds really good. I think we Tailwind and we Bounce. Because I feel like the Zacian has to go after Regilecki. And if he protects, he protects. That's fine. But we're going to go Tailwind for Tailwind here. I have a feeling he's going after my Regilecki, right? Go after my Regilecki just so I can dodge this move and then charm you next turn. We are bouncing. We are dipping out of here. Let's see if the Gene's calculation was correct. Make it happen. Right into the Reggie slot. Let's go. Let's go. Great calls by Jeans. Great calls by Jeans. So now we do this. We can charm this little booger. And we can roll from there. Not a bad turn. Not a bad turn at all. 
Not a bad turn at all. I'll take it all there. We actually could have Dynamaxed him. I thought he was going to go into a Behemoth Blade thinking that we were Dynamaxing him. Let's see what he does. He's going to end up withdrawing Whimsical. That's totally fine. He's going to go into... He's going to go into Yveltal. Okay, so Yveltal not too bad. Maybe we can get a Paralyze with this. Charm's coming out here. Sending it this way. Minus two on this little booger. And then Bounce can come out here. Can we get the para? That'd be a beautiful para. That'd be a beautiful para. No para, but Hemoth Blade does come through here. Are you taking out Wimscott? I wouldn't mind that because then I get to Dynamax my boy. You are taking out Wim. Okay, dude. I love it. And my Wimscott survives because that thing's minus two. Yeah, let's Dynamax now. Let's set up a light screen. And let's Dynamax. It's a safe Dynamax play. It might even withdraw that. Uh, might even withdraw the what's it called. Uh, this acid because it is minus or oh, it's minus one now. I always forget about it's plus one, but I gotta check this in summary. I gotta make sure it's boosted in attack. It's still good Dynamax. I still really like the value that we can get out of this thing. Dynamax. Its speed's really high. Its special events is high. I think we just get after it, right? We have the Soul Fest too. The Light Screen could definitely help it out. So let's Dynamax. Let's go into Lightning and let's go straight after this. Uh, Shivalto. I'm cool with that. Because, again, I think that he might even swap the Zacian. I mean, he just didn't, but that's totally fine. I think he just goes after Wimscott with it anyway. Right? He realizes that we're not getting too much value. Or that he's not getting too much value out of it. But he's minus one. We should be able to hook up pretty well. We should be able to get rolling here. Plus, Reg like he outspeed. So, if he doesn't swap the uh, Yveltal, we can drop it and get rid of it. Which would be beautiful. And I could see a Sucker Punch coming out here, too. I kind of hope he does. Dynamax is your belts. Right play. So with Dynamax Javelta, we are going to get off a late screen, so I'm really hoping that this thing is special attacking, but I honestly have no idea. I honestly have no idea. But it is good that we know our uh, Regilicky outspeeds and all these moves. What a third battle we're getting after. I love this Wimscott moves up through here. Ends up going for quick attack. Can we eat that? You cannot. That kind of hurts. I was thinking maybe you can eat that. I was thinking maybe you can eat that, but that's not a bad turn. I don't mind it. We don't get off the late screen. That's fine. We get to do this, and we get rid of Yveltal. Yo, nothing better than when somebody Dynamaxes, and you get rid of it right away. It's a huge turn. That is a huge turn. But from here, um, I think we just bring out Kyogre, right? I feel like Kyogre just comes out here, and we finish up this battle. Or I could bring out Zacian. I could bring out Zacian, but Kyogre would be such a huge threat. Did I save my Kyogre? I'm trying to remember what Pokemon he has. Um, I feel like, I feel like we just bring out Zacian. Save our ogre. Because our ogre should be fine when when facing off against like a Zacian one on one. So I'm gonna bring out my Zacian just in case he wants to swap his ass. Makes sense? I think it makes sense. But yeah, I I, I want to Dynamax Vegelaki this whole game, so this worked out perfectly. Now he brings out Kyogre. He's trying to force into an electric shot. Because I might predict the swap. I might predict the swap here. Because the Behemoth Blade should be able to get rid of that uh that Zacian. I'm not worried about him because I already uh charmed it. But let me, let me see what other Pokemon he has. Because there's no way he just rolls into Kyogre. He might be forcing to protect. Or he doesn't have anybody that could soak this up. Like, who's his back-end Pokemon? Victini? It's got to be a Victini, right? Or did he start with... Did he start with Wimscott? Was that his lead? Okay, then it's Wimscott. Okay, that's fine. I mean, at this point, we just go into Behemoth Blade. Actually, Behemoth Blade wouldn't take that out. And do I just Airstream instead? I think I just dropped the Lightning. Play it simple. We have the advantage. We gotta play it simple here. There's the withdrawal. That's fine. Goes into Whimsicott. I'm cool with that. I was gonna go into an airstream and read that. But still, it was just like at this point. It was just like drop a lightning. It's probably stashed anyway, so it didn't really matter. The lightning's gonna fly here. Tip up some damage on him. That's some huge damage. <laughs> That's some huge damage regardless. Emoth Blade flies through it, and I think we just take a bit more speed. As both tailwinds are gonna go. I am just going to roll into Behemoth Blade, and then I am just going to Airstream. Should go from there. And we do have Kyogre in the back end to kind of versus Kyogre 101 with a Life Orb. So it's going to be solid for him. But again, he's going to be Tailwind. He is going to be Tailwind. But still, plus one Regilecki, I think, outspeeds a Tailwind Kyogre. Battle's coming down to it. It is coming down to it. So he ends up setting up the Tailwind. That's totally fine. Once I get rid of this Wimscott, that's asking is going to be minus one for the rest of the game. And I'm super surprised he never swapped that thing. The blade's going to fly here. We soak that up all day. We soak that up all day. How much damage are you doing? Half? 
Oh my god, yo, Charm's ass scene is poopy. It stinks! <laughs> it's so bad. It's so bad, but down goes Wim Scott. We'll take uh, a bit more speed on our side. And again, I think that my Regilecki outspeeds the Kyogre now. Yo, what a great set of battles from today. Really was. I feel like I'm playing super, super well. Again, if you guys are new here, if you guys are new to the Jeans community, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Like up today's video if you did enjoy it. Like, if you made it this long into the video, and you're watching this long, I definitely deserve a like, because this is about 30 minutes in. <laughs> like, this is about 30 minutes in. I definitely deserve a like, and if you're not subscribed, you gotta subscribe if you made it this far in the video. But again, huge shout out to everybody who supports me as a content creator. It really goes a long way. It really does. New videos here every single day. Every single day. I try not to miss upload. I think I miss like two uploads a year. That's because like I'm on vacation or something. <laughs> like, I really work hard at this. But uh, he goes to the Ogre. I mean, we just Behemoth Blade this slot right here, right? Behemoth Blade, and then we just go into a straight Wild Charge. Best bet. I think our opponent might cancel this battle here, too. We still have a Kyogre in our back end. So if I can just get rid of a Pokemon here, we are chilling. We are chilling. Because Kyogre can pretty much solo any of these guys. My Kyogre can pretty much solo any of these guys. I just need to take out one Pokemon, which I think we should be able to. And Regilecki outspeeds everybody with plus one. That's gorgeous. Wild Charge comes out here. It says, Kyogre, get on out my game. And this Zacian has little to no attack power to take out any of my Pokemon. I mean, he maybe could take out Regilecki, but if he goes into Regilecki with a shot, it's going to be not very effective. I just don't think he has the horsepower to do it. Or the dog power, however you want to say it. But yeah, see? Does little to no damage, and my Zacian comes in here with the Behemoth Blade to solidify the perfect record with the best team for Series 13. Like I said in the beginning of today's video, this is the best team for Series 13, and I think I proved it to you guys. Went 3-0 in today's video, cleanly played every single battle, and dominated every single battle. Like I said, I want to bring you guys a team that you guys can push high master tier on, so if you guys are looking to push high ranks and not use gimmicky fun teams, this is the team for you guys. Super, super strong. Kai Ogre, Calyrex, and Zacian with Reg Lecky, Wimscott, and Ndidi. Just top tier meta Pokemon. It's kind of boring. I would say it's kind of boring, but if you're looking to win, this is the team for you guys. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread positivity today, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.